by the DNR? Well, first of all, we just uh, uh, turn over the uh, first uh, plant uh, wherein our small miners can already extract uh, gold uh, without using mercury and uh, cyanide. Mm -hmm. So we were helped by uh, uh, the Department of Mining, and Metallurgy and Materials Engineering of mm -hmm. UP Diliman. And so last, uh, about a month ago, we turned it over to the Togon uh, miners. Yes. Uh, so the gold that comes out, of course, uh, uh, al also together with it are the wastewater that mm -hmm. is as clear as drinking water already, the technology that they have used. So, so uh, you're happy with the rollout? We're happy about that and mm -hmm. the, the, the miners were all happy. Mm -hmm. uh, we turned it over to the cooperative, that would be the contribution of government, but they had to sustain it. Now three others will be opened in uh, Dabao, in uh, Bicol, and in, uh, in the Caraga region, mm -hmm. they're under construction now. So hopefully, even the big miners will pick that up. Okay? And uh, mm -hmm. that's the reason why uh, there is an agreement signed by Pichard. And mm -hmm. this is really more on the R&D, yes. uh, so that uh, we can have uh, sustainable uh, mining and uh, also the rehabilitation of uh, mined areas. Okay, sir, so sorry I have to ask because it's really controversial mm -hmm. right now. Are you working with the DNR on this? You presented it to them, I'm sure. We, we, we have worked with them. In the first place, they are members of our governing council. Mm -hmm. So every project that we undertake, uh, they, they, they are part of the mm -hmm. decision-making process. Well, Secretary, to move on, since you mentioned mm -hmm. small, I wanted to get your <laughs> comments on small and medium-scale enterprises because I understand the DOST is also involved there. You have the e-commerce platform with Landback that you recently signed, yes. onestore.ph. I know you've uh, advertised that 10,000 products have been featured online. Tell me, how is the take-up rate in terms of the SMEs and, and customers? How are they it responding is, to it's this? It's still on the first year of implementation. Yeah. And uh, uh, as far as the take-up rate is uh, concerned, it's uh, picking up fast. Uh, mm -hmm. For one, uh, a, the group of Filipino inventors have joined us. Yes. Of course, that uh, would I love going to their expos. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that, that would require some checking on mm -hmm. the quality, of course. But uh, this is a big boost for them okay. and for us. So, for example, the Filipino inventors, their products, they can now upload it to this site and sell it. Kind yeah. of like, sort of it, like yes, in Alibaba? Yes, yes. It, it has to be assured, of course. Yes. Uh, initially, we were, just, we were just including the products of the companies we have assisted. Mm -hmm. uh, but this time, we can include also other companies for as long as they meet certain criteria. And you've got Landback as a partner. You've got a lot of coverage with the branches yes, also. Yes, yes, yes. You know, imagine. my, my long-term, uh, shall we say, vision for this is that yeah. we will turn it over to the private sector. <gasps> Uh, okay. In the first place, the science there is really the development of the system. Okay. Now, now Secretary, still on the SMEs, we, uh, we note also that you're helping with the tech side on the Philippine Startup Challenge. Tell me how that's coming along in terms of where it's going with yeah. bringing the next developers online. Yes, yes. Uh, well, first of all, I have to mention that I have been in this uh, area for a long time. I used to be the head of the Institute for Small Scale Industries in mm -hmm. UP way back in the early 90s. <laughs> and uh, I started the business incubation program both in UP Diliman, Los Baños. And uh, you see, we have uh, graduated from uh, the, the business incubation program that we had uh, uh, f following the technologies, for example, in agriculture, in electronics, and now there is a lot uh, uh, doing the software thing. And uh, uh, just a week ago, we were together with the Department of Trade and Industry and uh, Idea Space mm -hmm. and uh, uh, JP Morgan, and mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, established collaboration to operate the Kubo. Okay, yes, this is yes. the business incubation. And of course, we have uh, our own responsibilities over there. Uh, but uh, our idea is uh, the, m the more uh, agencies or organizations are involved, that, that would be better. So you're also open to um, help from, um, let's say, NGOs or civil society groups or the private sector? Uh, yes, totally yes, the private sector. Uh, in fact, uh, we have already started collaborating not only with government uh, schools, but also private schools. Okay. Now, Secretary, I mean, so speaking about interagency coordination, let's broaden it now to inter intra ASEAN coordination. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. we note that last month you signed uh, an agreement with your counterpart in Thailand uh, in terms of cooperation and innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, where is that coming? Where is that going from? Uh, going to? And where? How is it coming across with the other agreements you signed in ASEAN? Well, we, we are quite close in the ASEAN Committee on Science and Technology. Of course, mm -hmm. Thailand and uh, the Philippines have been working uh, closely together with the other countries and uh, member states and. Uh, um, 
um, more recently we decided to go bilateral because uh, there's a lot of things in common between Thailand and uh, the Philippines yes. and uh, if you will recall uh, well I should recall that <laughs> in the past they studied here you know uh, yes. uh, during my time uh, I had classmates who were Thais Hi. and uh, of course they picked up a lot from us I should say and uh, so we formalized our bilateral cooperation both in, terms be, of, yes, uh, in research yeah. in uh, exchange of uh, uh, information and knowledge and technology transfer and also in terms of exchange of uh, people to visit the respective workplaces. May we ask specifically in what sectors these are? I mean, knowing that it's Thailand is probably agri-based a lot Yes, of yes, but uh, Thailand has been uh, uh, active now in the in the area of, uh, of course, ICT, nanotechnology, mm -hmm. in, wow. um, in, the, in the mechanical engineering areas, and uh, of course, uh, also in the area of biotechnology. So, uh, these will be the areas we expect to collaborate on. Okay, speaking of uh, these areas of nanotechnology and biotechnology and, you know, particle physics, we're going <laughs> up here. And I'm sure budgets will also be need to, bump up, to be bumped up, right? In 2015, uh, the DOST saw a almost 50%, 49% to be exact bump up in budget. Uh, we did not see that in 2016. And in mm -hmm. fact, in, for 2017, your budget got slashed a bit more. So, is, does this suffice, sir? No, no, we, yeah. we actually... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, had a, an, a decrease in the total budget. Is it the reorganization because of the Because BICD? of the organization. Because in the 2016 budget, it included the uh, information and communications technology so office, which used to be under us. And they had more than four billion budget. So that was taken out from us and uh, given yeah. to uh, the ICT. And yet, our budget increased from 18 to 22 yes. uh, billion. So that was a net increase. I know the research budget ha itself has gone up 50% mm -hmm. of the last five yes, years. Yes. Now, you're leveraging that in terms of also re research spend. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me about where you want to put this, especially in terms of developing more scientists yes, in the, yes, of the education yes. system. Well, uh, first of all, we work along different sectors. So in the agricultural area, in the uh, health area, in the industry and energy area. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe the best example is in the health uh, research area mm -hmm. because uh, we have been doing uh, drug discovery and development for so many years. But uh, really, I want it to be speeded up because we have so many resources, so many. Our biodiversity mm -hmm. is so rich. And uh, I expect that there will be more coming out of this research. Uh, in the area of uh, uh, industry, energy, and the emerging technologies, of course, we have uh, identified two new areas. This is artificial intelligence and also mm -hmm. the space development program. How is that coming yes. along? And are <laughs> we Wata rolling two? up by 2018, Diwata 2? Yes, schedule. yes. Uh, so Diwata 1, of course, which was started uh, during the time of my predecessor, Secretary Montejo, has been going along well. Uh, April uh, 26 will be one year, Diwata 1 will be in orbit, uh, and uh, we are preparing for Diwata 2. Uh, it will be in 2018. We are not yet sure which particular month because we are mm -hmm. taking advantage of certain uh, shall we say, uh, good timing and in the launching. Conditions. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, at least I was assured when I went to uh, Sapporo and uh, mm -hmm. Hokkaido, in Hokkaido University yes. and in uh, Tohoku, in Sendai, mm -hmm. that our young people there are doing very well. So I attended the graduation of the two young people in Hokkaido. They finished their master's degree in Cosmos Science. Mm -hmm. And two in Tohoku, they finished their master's degree in aerospace engineering and uh, they're coming home to work Muna. Well, so <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on that. I wish uh, look forward to hearing more from you as the, your budget progresses and your research evolves. Yes, we, yes, certainly we, we, we pray for, for that. Yes, we're also praying for like good, really good updates. But so far, congratulations on staying on track.